Hello everyone, welcome to Bycode. In this tutorial, I will illustrate how to design BCI primers using NCBI primer designing tool. The first thing I will do is to show you a few slides about the concept of primer designing. First, what is primer design? It's a process of computationally designing a primer pair for different biotechnology applications like PCR, Sanger sequencing, etc. NCBI offers a huge amount of tools for biotechnology and bioinformatics purposes. So today, we are going to use Primer Plus tool to design our target primers. To design a primer, you need to, to take care of uh, some instructions to have a successful primer design. Number one, your primer lens should be between 18 and 30 piece pairs. Smaller primers Will, you will lose specificity. Larger primers, you will get a very high melting temperature for the primer. Number two, the GC content is, should, should be from 40 to 60% of the primer. Three, TM of the forward and reverse primers should be closely to each other. Number four, GM of the primers should be about 60 degrees for most of the work purposes. Check the specificity of the primer using databases. Avoid highly repetitive sequences. Repeats are bad. Avoid self-complementarity of 3 dash end to minimize primer dimer formation. Avoid mismatches between primer and template. Avoid the presence of three or more G's or C's at 3 dash end. Avoid complementarity sequences with a primer and between primers. So, now let's start with the practical part. First, we are going to open NCPI Primer Designing Tool. You can find the link in the description of the video. The main window of Primer Plus consists of four sections. BCR template, Primer parameters, Exon entrance selection, and Primer pair specificity checking parameters. So let's start from the PCR template. Here, you can copy and paste your target sequence that you want to design primers for it, or alternatively, you can just write the accession number of the target sequence in the box here. So I prepared an example to, uh, to go for this tutorial. I will take this accession number of a messenger RNA of the, of the gene WG1. We just will take the accession number and put it in the box here. Secondly is the primer parameters. You will adjust the BCR product size according to the type of your experiment. So for real time PCR for example, I will limit the product size between 70 and 200 base pairs if you are working on conventional BCR for different purposes like Sanger sequencing or resurrection enzyme analysis, you can increase the product size. We won't put anything in the primers part here as we are designing the primers not checking for the specificity. I will put the link for another video showing how to check specificity of the primers using the same tool. So, we could just limit our product size from here, from 70 to 200. I'm not going to modify more in this section, as the primer melting temperature conditions are optimal. The third part here is exon entron selection. This part is really important as if you are designing primers for gene expression analysis, so you need to avoid DNA contamination by designing the primer that produces a product that spans exon-exon junction, and this is really important in another primer design process for circular RNA primer design, but not here on Primer Plus, but on another software, I could do another tutorial for it. So I will choose from here Primer must span an exon-exon junction. 
this part is done we can go forward to the fourth part primer pair specificity checking primers i care about two parameters for joining a successful primer pairs first is our database here to use an optimum database which is curated leave it as it is refseq messenger rna I will leave it as default using the RFC Messenger RNA database. But if you have different purposes, you can change the database as you need from here. The second parameter is our organism. Make sure you from here. Make sure you are choosing the right organism by typing and choosing from the drop menu. So here, if I deleted Homo sapiens. And start typing I will have a drop list and choose again uh, my uh, target organism okay now I can say that you are ready to go and check parameters oh and finally we are here for the results and as you can see that it gave us the graphical view of primer design to see how the tool designs the primer spanning the exon exon junction as you can see here this is spanning from this exon to this exon and take care that software designed all the potential primers in the coding sequence that code for a protein as you can hear is the red line is a protein we know it from the accretion number that starts with np okay you can choose your desired primer according to the best in self complementarity as you can see here this is our result it give you the forward primer and the reverse primer and the length of each primer start and stop uh, base TM melting temperature of each primer, GC content of each primer, and it, it gives you the self complementarity. For a good VCR design, you should choose the lowest in self complementarity primers. You will have multiple results. This is the first result, and you have, uh, I think it's uh, a little bit high self complementarity here. So let's go down, scroll down. It's another one with the, cell, with the same self complementarity, and this one also. I think uh, we'll have another one. Okay, let's see about this one. It have a self complementarity of four, and about the three dash complementarity, it's zero and one, which is great. Uh, and when we when we look for our product, as you can see, NCBI make a double check by blasting the suggested primer against the curated database reference seek to give you the right result to make sure that your primers will target this uh, gene messenger RNA you can see that the product length is 132 base pairs which is good for real-time BCR as we limited the product size from 70 to 200 base pairs and uh, here the dots means that there are no mismatches by this point, I think we reached the end of our video. See you in another tutorial. Thanks.